So this Supreme Court decision came a day after an incredible historic march in Brooklyn that was celebrating the humanity, the lives of transgender people, especially black transgender lives. It was Transgender Lives Matter March, 15,000 people showing up in Brooklyn. Then you had the Supreme Court decision. So it's been a busy couple of days for you. How historic and important is what the Supreme Court did? Yeah, I think, you know, we had two types of history occurring. We had one in the Supreme Court where Amy Stevens, who unfortunately passed before she could realize the impact and the history making role that she would play uh, passed uh, before she could realize that. Um, but she still was the first trans person to ever be a plaintiff before the United States Supreme Court. Wow. And not only was she the first plaintiff, but she is a person that won her case and the employment discrimination case that was ruled is so important because it just opens the door to the possibility of trans people securing and advancing so many other legal rights that we currently don't enjoy and, and possibly are tenuous. Um, the second thing that happened that was historic, of course, was, as you mentioned, the march. Um, it clearly is the largest uh, march for Black trans lives ever. I think it's probably arguably the largest march for trans people in the history of the United States. And they both occurred back to back. Um, and they represent kind of this twin strategy of the way in which rights have always been gained in the United States, which is people power and also working the corridors of power coming together to advance trans rights. We have a long way to go. Trans people continue to be the most marginalized of the marginalized, but these two events coming during Pride Month are very powerful and their historic importance, I think, is, is hard to underestimate. So with Neil Gorsuch taking a leadership role on the court, I think this surprised many. Um, he, uh, I, the quote that I uh, read out, I thought was, you know, something that Sonia Sotomayor could have written or Ruth Bader Ginsburg saying that, uh, that, um, that, that an employee who fires an individual for being gay, for being transgender, is the same sort of discrimination as if somebody who was a woman, you know, a, a woman being fired because uh, a straight woman being fired because she is a woman. And it's so interesting to see that that comes from Neil Gorsuch. Um, and of course, not surprising that Alito, Thomas and Kavanaugh ruled the other way. Did you think a lot of people were expecting this to be a much closer vote and potentially even sadly a loss? But uh, luckily, of course, not a loss. <laughs> 